Peace, family. All right, so we're going to chat about cellular memory. This is what the Most High put on my spirit to chat about. In fact, um, I was uh, reminded to talk about this from a post that's in one of the health groups that I belong to. And so uh, the person was asking, they were saying, um, why is it because they've been eating plant-based and they've been getting their protein from plants why is it that their temple is craving um it wasn't protein it was actually iron she was saying iron getting iron uh from plant-based i don't know how long this person has been plant-based or whatever but um, they said that they're now craving plant-based from animals. And you have to realize this, right? This avatar body that you are renting while you're here on Earth, it holds um, lots of memories, right? Uh, there is something called cellular memory. And you have to remember you don't just have a physical body, but you have three other bodies pain body, emotional body, spiritual body, mental body. Uh, pain may be not one, but emotional, mental, spiritual, right? So you have emotional, spiritual, mental bodies. So that's three, and then you have the physical body, that's four. So your cellular, uh, your cells, they say that melanin people, and you can verify all this information, please don't take anything that I'm saying uh, as 100%. Uh, this is just what I've come to the overstanding of. So melanin folks have over 60 trillion some odd cells, right? And then if you, you know, X that times four and magnify that out, that's how many cells that you have. Your cells are conscious just as you are. So they have um, an intelligence, they have a memory, they have a subconscious, they have a conscious mind. So as you are programming your avatar, because it is a sophisticated, the best nanotechnology that we've ever seen, is the human avatar. So you have the ability to control your cells. How do you control your cells? Well, you control your cells by programming your cells. Now, most people walk around here on Earth, don't have any clue of what we're talking about. And uh, they are still programming their cells, whether they know it or not. So let's give you an example. How do you program your cells? Ah, you wake up in the morning and you say, ah, life is shit. Or this is going to be a blah, blah, blah week. And you're just talking all low vibration. And... Um, Everything like that as you're brushing your teeth, washing your face, getting ready for your week. And then you wonder at the end of the week why your week was so shitty. <laughs> because you, my gods, my goddesses, my kings, my queens, you have the ultimate power. You control and program your cells according to what you speak to it, the emotional energy that you put towards, right? The spiritual energy, the mental energy, all of that goes into programming your cells. So now, understand, you can't get away from it. You can't get away from programming your cells because everywhere you are, they are, right? So even if you're not speaking words physically, right? You're not expressing them orally, but you're thinking these thoughts internally. You're still programming your cells. So you have to be extra, extra, extra careful of not only the company you keep, which is yourself, uh, first and most important, but then the company that you keep around you, you know, the, the, the music that you're letting seep into your subconscious, the, the chatter of others, you know, uh, that may be around you, if, if it's not of a high vibration, um, 
the things you're watching, you know, social media and, and things like that and all these other streaming channels that you may watch for entertainment. All of that is a culmination of programming for your cells. So now let's get to the let's get to the physical. Let's just talk about the physical temple for a minute, right? Um, now you've been programming your cells physically by your livity. I call a diet that you may call a diet. I don't say diet because I'm not I'm not really here to die. I'm here to live. So uh, Rastafari, we call it a livity. So your livity has been programming your cells since you incarnated, right? So whatever it is that you choose to eat for your nutrition, you have, over the years, you've been programming, you know, your temple to extract um, whatever nourishment they can out of whatever it is that you choose to uh to uh, give yourself for nutrition, right? So in, in this sister's case, you know, it's quite possible. I'm sure if I was to talk to her one-on-one, -on -one, she's only for a short span been plant-based. So the cells, remember the cells, 60 trillion cells, four different bodies, right? So you're talking 60 trillion, 4X, right? And then the amount of coding and the amount of information that has gone into those particular cells. That's why, you know, consciously we can choose to do the right things, right? We can choose that consciously, but on a subconscious level is where the auto automatic uh, habits will take over. So in order to, you know, peel back from the conscious to that subconscious, you got to get all the way down to the cells. You have to flush out the cells with all the bad gunk. It's the same thing as if you did an oil change on your car. And most people will put more energy and time and money into maintaining their car, their physical car in this three dimension versus their mer ka ba which is your spiritual car and I, I find that quite interesting that most humans will rather and they'll be to the book you know every 90 days they're getting the oil change getting the tires rebalanced they're getting this I'm, how do i know because i was this person <laughs> before but when it comes down to their temple they're not being as rigid and not being as diligent as flushing out the gunk every 90 days or so, you know, putting in new, uh, brand new cells with a clean slate. So what happens is, and um, yes, I'm, I should look at this article a little bit here. But what happens is when you do an extended fast, meaning you abstain from solid food, the best is going to be a water fast. That's the absolute best. Like if you're just really wanting miraculous things to happen in your life, uh, health-wise, spiritually, mentally, um, you know, like I said, physically, health-wise, a water fast is going to be your absolute best. Um, you could do a juice fast, you could do a fruit fast, you could do an all raw plant-based fast, but I'm specifically speaking from the standpoint of a water fast, a person that wants to really flush out all of their old cellular memory gunk. They want to recreate new cells because what happens is when you completely, and uh, you can even throw in some days of dry fasting with that, but when you completely, you know, abstain from food, um, the food that we're accustomed to eating, not the food from the, the ethers, right? Because there's nu nutrients in the wind, there's nutrients in the ocean when you walk barefoot on the sand. There's nutrients in the grass. You put your bare foot in the grass, so plant your feet, you focus, you look in. It's a time, sunrise, sunset, where you can enjoy the rays and the information and downloads that's coming off the sun. That's also food. That's also nutrients, all right? But I'm not talking about those nutrients. I'm talking about what we've dumbed down to, which is you know, eating processed cooked foods and all this stuff every day, right? 
So when you completely rid your temple of that for an extended amount of time, you allow yourselves the ability to regenerate. And you're, you're regenerating new cells every single day. But if you're putting the same garbage in, you're going to get the same garbage out. So you're going to regenerate shitty cells every day, right? So if you're wanting to rid yourself, say you're getting rid of addictions, maybe sugar, you know, like this sister was saying, getting rid of a, a taste of any animal flesh, you know, in your temple. If you want to truly, truly get rid of that stuff, an extended fast will be the way that you do that. An extended water only fast. And um, I would say, depending on your liberty and depending on how long, you know, you may have been on animal flesh and all this kind of stuff, would dictate, like, how long of a fast you would need to do, okay? But that is um, a perfect example, and I'm glad that that example came up again to remind you, to remind me to talk to you all about this, because it's really, really important. You know, some people go in and they're like, why is it that when I fast, I go right back and I just start back eating all this junk food, I gain all the way back, and all, because you haven't flushed out the cellular memories, right? So your, your, your program is just coming back online. It's like, oh, here we go. Okay, she ate a chip. Here we go, boom. Now you 10 bags, you know, you knee deep in the 10 bags of Lay's and, you know, you got all this other stuff going on and you just completely wiped away all the work that you did. And I tell you, you know, it, it's, it's a crummy feeling. I've done it before. It's a crummy feeling, right? And you have to start all over again. So the question you have to ask yourself at the end of the day is, you know, are you doing this for a life, a lifetime change? Are you truly, you know, tapping in to level up frequency-wise for a lifetime? Or are you just trying to, you know, get a couple of pounds off to get into some wedding dress or whatever? That's the question you have to ask yourself. So if you're truly seeking, you know, lifetime lifestyle change, it's going to be, you know, an extended uh, water fast. It's going to be, and this, that's only for healthy people, right? I would only tell a healthy person to do an extended water fast. So if you got all types of health concerns and stuff like that, uh, you definitely want to get with your physician and uh, get with them and get a plan together, you know, that both of you can agree to. So this is something that I want to read to you, too. I put into Google, how quickly do cells regenerate? And um, uh, this information is not correct. And I'll just tell you because I, I, I found the information uh, myself in the Akashic Records. And we actually uh, generate cells when you have a high dosage of melanin. Uh, so, you know, if people call you, quote, unquote, black, then you regenerate uh, cells a lot quicker, every 24 hours, every single day. But this says why it's true that your cells regenerate on average 7 to 10 years. There's a lot of variation. See that a lot of variation. That's us, melanin folks. Your skin cells, for example, are replaced every few weeks. In fact, you lose close to 500 million skin cells every day. Cells in your skeletal muscles, on the other hand, take as long as 15 years to regenerate. So let's just say, you know, every 10, 15 years, you're regenerating a whole, whole new body uh, if you're non-melanated and, you know, just that type of uh, race, I guess. But uh, if you're, you know, highly, you have a high concentration of melanin in your skin, you're regenerating a lot quicker than that. Um, you can notice it just by, you know, like I said, just observing with you doing a fast. You can see, you know, from the one day to the next, actually, uh, yourself, if you study yourself like that, I'm, I'm really into that kind of study. But at any rate, I don't want to make this too much longer, but uh, just so you know, you know, do some research around this. Um, understand, like, what your objective is uh, with this whole approach to uh, fasting, spirituality, the whole nine. It all goes together to me. It's not anything that's separate. You know, if you're compartmentalizing, um, you know, your spirituality from your liberty, from, from, from this and that, uh, I believe that's why I see a lot of people struggle because they don't look at this as a, a holistic type of uh, technology uh, because it actually, it actually is, okay? All right, so I will uh, talk to you all in my next video. All right, peace, blessings, bless up.